reading from the book of Sirach. I will now call to mind the works of the Lord and will declare what I have seen. By the word of the Lord his works were made and all his creatures do his will. The sun looks down on everything with its light and the work of the Lord is full of his glory. The Lord has not uh, uh, empowered even his holy ones to recount all his marvelous works which the Lord, the Almighty, has established, so that the universe may stand firm in his glory. He searches out the abyss and the human heart. He understands their innermost secrets, for the Most High knows all that may be known. He sees the signs of the age. He discloses what has been and what is to be, and he reveals the traces of hidden things. No, uh, no thought escapes him, and nothing is hidden from him. He has set in order the splendor of his wisdom. He is from all eternity one and the same. Nothing can be added or taken away, and he needs no one to be his counselor. How desirable are all his works, and how sparkling they are to see. All these things live and remain forever, each creature is preserved to meet a particular need. All things come in pairs, the, the one opposite the other, and he, uh, he has made nothing incomplete. Each supplements the, the virtues of the other. Who could ever tire of seeing his glory? The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, by the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the work of the Lord, the heavens were made. Praise the Lord with the lyre, make melody to him, and with the harp of ten strings, sing to him a new song, play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness, he loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and all their host, by the breath of his mouth, he gathered the waters of the sea as in a bottle. He poured the deep, uh, deeps in shore, storehouses. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Let all the earth fear the Lord, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him, for he spoke and it came to be, he commanded and it stood firm. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples came to Jericho. As he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. As then they called the, the, the man who was blind, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately Bartimaeus regained his sight and followed Jesus on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus Christ. In the book of Sirach we hear about uh, those glories of the Lord. So he is, uh, no, he, is, uh, he is revealing his glory, his goodness, his perfection, how he is revealing it in his creation, in the wisdom of the, of the creation. And uh, it says there that by the word of the Lord his works were made, were made and all his creatures do his will. And it is that uh, by the word of the Lord 
Yes, we also were made by the words of the Lord and uh, that we have to that remember that uh, just uh, that word of the Lord is the source of life and is the uh, no, the only uh, the only wisdom that we have to follow if we want uh, our life to be worthy anything. And then in the gospel we hear that story of Bartimaeus, that uh, the blind beggar. And uh, so it was Jesus and uh, so the disciples and the crowd following him. They were passing and this beggar heard the uh, noise of the crowd. So he was asking, who is it? And, uh, and they told me that if it was Jesus of Nazareth. And uh, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The, the people were saying that it was Jesus of Nazareth and he was, uh, so he was calling him Jesus, son of David. Son of David was, uh, was the title uh, of the Messiah, of the, uh, of the uh, Redeemer. And uh, so it was uh, visible that this man had already a deep faith and uh, he saw what others did not see. They saw Jesus just as uh, just a fellow man, uh, a good teacher and, uh, and uh, some philosopher. That uh, this Bartimaeus, although we hear that uh, he was blind, he, uh, he saw much more than the others uh, were seeing. So he saw, he recognized that it was Jesus, the Messiah. And uh, the people were, uh, were just pushing him away or, uh, or uh, saying, the ordering him of the, so to be quiet, that uh, he did not stop. And he was insisting that the son of David have mercy on me. Uh, it, was, uh, it was that insistency that he uh, did, not, uh, or did not get discouraged or did not, uh, or did not, uh, uh, did not abandon his plea. Uh, he, uh, he was still calling son of David. He was turning to Jesus knowing that, uh, that uh, only in Jesus he, has, he can find some, uh, some help. And then uh, Jesus stood and uh, said, call him here. And so uh, he, uh, he came to him. And Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? And uh, it was just to ask, uh, not to, not, not asking for, uh, for the reason to, to, be, uh, to give that witness or that testimony to us uh, in front of the others. And the blind man said to him, my teacher, let me see again. And Jesus said to him, go, your faith has made you well. So it is, uh, it is a kind of, uh, of, I would say, even contradiction that, uh, that that Jesus was the Son of God and uh, that he could do any miracle he wanted. That uh, he said that your faith has made you well. But, uh, what is that secret or so what is, uh, why uh, the Lord is speaking here about the faith? It was that faith that, uh, that yes, the, the Lord opens our eyes that makes us not only see but also understand. And uh, that he is uh, 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 doing it not uh, just as a doctor or so some, uh, some philosopher, he does it as a son of God, as the Redeemer. And, uh, and this, this faith in the Lord uh, uh, has made you well, not only in the, in the sense that, uh, that he uh, opened the eyes, that uh, it was that opening and confirming uh, who Jesus was and uh, confirming that it was the Messiah I was expecting. And we hear that immediately Bartimaeus regained his sight and followed Jesus on the way. He did not run away, he was happy that, oh yes, I have what I wanted and I will go and uh, do my thing, so I will uh, start my own business or so continue with, uh, with my own business. That uh, he followed Jesus, that opening the eyes was for him uh, seeing not only those physical things that were our sight can see, but it was uh, seeing also now, uh, the sort of things that are hidden to the eyes of most, and it is uh, that it was the uh, Jesus, Son of God, and uh, it was uh, the one to follow in his life. And uh, uh, we need to, uh, not to read this, uh, not, no, no, this story uh, in the times when there were so many are looking for some kind of uh, help and. Uh, and uh, some kind of, uh, of wisdom and gu guidance, and uh, still they, uh, they turn anywhere else. When I was in Toronto, uh, it, is, uh, it was in the West End, but uh, it is actually all over Toronto, that every second window has there a sign, palm reader or uh, card reader, and, uh, and all kind of, 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 uh, sort of magician or sort of witches, and uh, they are uh, reading 
uh, thick leaves and, uh, and uh, glass ball and, uh, and so many things that are, that are happening there. And, uh, and there are so many that it, is, it really seems impossible. The, how is it that, uh, that so many people can use their, uh, no, no, their it is not service, uh, how many people can go there. And it's all those blind people who are looking for some kind of, uh, not, not only uh, the sight, but uh, that wisdom, that understanding. But they go to the wrong place. And this is why the, the Lord is uh, praising this Bartimaeus, go, your faith has made you well. That he not only believed, but he really went to the, uh, the son of David. He did not go to, uh, somewhere else. He did not look for some other, uh, other wisdom or some other charlatan. And uh, it is unbelievable how much uh, uh, even uh, some people can do uh, in uh, uh, searching for this, uh, uh, for this help. So, so it, well, it happened to me once in the parish and I was terribly upset when I have learned it. Uh, that, uh, it was Sunday morning that uh, uh, one lady, apparently Catholic, came to me and she was terribly upset because uh, just down the street now she was at, uh, at one of these uh, palm readers and uh, whatever, so it was a, a woman, a crook, and, uh, and she said that yes, she had some bad spell and she can free her from that spell. It will cost her $500, so she gave her $500 and, uh, and she made her some magics and, uh, and, and then, uh, then she said that she still has another spell that uh, uh, was, uh, was only discovered when she got the the free from the first one, and it would cost her again, uh, so again $500. And uh, the woman uh, uh, apparently did not, uh, uh, did not get upset or did not uh, go away because uh, uh, she realized that it was, uh, uh, it was a crooked business. She said that she did not have other money, and, uh, and then she came angry to the parish to complain to the priest how can these people strip her of so much money? And uh, it is the same people that uh, they are in the church, put their one dollar in the, in the basket, then they think that they maintain the church and, uh, and uh, that uh, they, are, uh, no, they are generous. Uh, I don't say that because uh, I want those $500, but uh, it is really unbelievable how many people can, uh, can do even such a crazy thing and, uh, and still uh, not turn to, uh, to Jesus, because the kind of case of this woman, uh, it was rather the, so she needed rather the confession, not, uh, not the, the spell, or the freeing for, from the spell. She needed a confession, and the confession doesn't cost one penny. But uh, yes, so, the, so, so many simply don't have that faith. And think that yes, well, I will go to the church, light a candle, say a prayer, that I will go still to that palm leader because uh, uh, I will just make sure that Jesus takes care, takes care of everything. That I will go there because it is the real help, and uh, it is not faith. And, uh, and yes, uh, we have so many that, uh, that are looking for uh, for the, the help and for the uh, for the light in wrong places. And uh, uh, we, uh, we have to learn from it uh, for ourselves. But, uh, it may not be, uh, not be directly that we go to the palm reader. But uh, how many uh, believe, and I will say one thing that, uh, that is uh, really powerful, statistics. We hear that, yes, that 80% uh, that of the people don't believe in anything. Uh, and so it's uh, statistics. Uh, who, have, uh, who has made the statistic? Nobody asks. And, uh, and we hear uh, those uh, percents that how many percent of the people go to the church, don't go to the church. Statistics again. Uh, we hear statistics about the political life that yes, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the people that don't support the, uh, the actual prime minister and they support the opposition and so on. So, so I just wonder who voted, uh, voted for this prime minister when he was elected. It, uh, it, is, uh, it is false, but uh, yes, the, uh, the manipulation of the, uh, the media and manipulation of the statistics the creates uh, that general opinion and, uh, and that they will insist and brainwash uh, most of the population. And because most of the population does not have the faith, they simply follow any crazy, uh, any crazy idea or any crazy uh, uh, charlatan and, uh, and uh, act accordingly. 
and such, and we have to start not to renew our faith and so and then realize that all those charlatans and so those who are make uh, all kind of, of crazy promises and so uh, and uh, and uh, so who wants to uh, sway us in, in some way or right, want to promise the salvation, it is what the politicians are doing every time before the elections. But uh, uh, I will save you uh, from the crisis, I will save you for, from this, from that, from, from everything. Uh, they always promise to be the saviors. And uh, instead of, uh, of believing in Jesus, so, so many simply fall and uh, fall for them, for the politicians, and believe that, oh yes, he made nice, nice promises and it must be good. So, so now we uh, have to renew our faith and, uh, and uh, with that faith come to Jesus and uh, ask him, Lord, let me see again. And so that's what, uh, what this, uh, this poor Bartimaeus uh, said and uh, what we have to uh, say with him, Lord, let me see again. And all those opinions and all those, uh, so all those ideas around us and even those, uh, so those, uh, those, those kinds of bullying that, that yes, now the church has changed and uh, the teaching of the church must change and, and so on. Uh, we have to reject it clearly and, and, uh, and only in prayer say, Lord, let me, let me see again. And there is one Lord, one truth and only one way to the salvation. It is through the, so along, along the path that Jesus has traced for us. That path has never changed, and so uh, no matter what the world is, uh, is saying, what those, uh, what those uh, charlatans and palm leaders and, uh, and uh, politicians and all those liars around us, no matter what they say, uh, we have to, to show our faith that uh, my leader, my guide is the Lord. Lord, uh, let me see again. And uh, it is not Lord, let me see again to to make uh, to do better my business. Let me see again because I want to follow you.